check out my breakfast for the day I have eggs with greens and capsicum and spring onions and a perfectly toasted bread amazing yummy Pavi made it for me and this is Pavi's breakfast a nice large fruit bowl doesn't that look amazing delicious and it's got a little honey on it i think yummy yummy look at the colors and i am running again to go catch a train which is at 3:30 and i i'm just about going to make it in time but i'm actually headed to ikea right now to go pick up some stuff just about arrived at the overground in time for the train and the second stop is where i need to go which is the walthams toast central you must wear a face covering over your nose and mouth at all times when using okay so basically every bus stop has an alphabet to it which is stop d then you'll have stop e which is that side and then so on i've made that mistake before so i know best it just use the alphabet and go by it just got back from ikea and forever running around everywhere yes but first i'm making some coffee for myself and then we are going to be opening quite a few packages over here this is one thing that i needed really badly check out all those cute little screw heads over there fancy packaging as well Okay, but we shall open that in a bit. But something that I'm really excited to share with you guys is the stool that I just bought. Yep, that's the new haircut. Okay, so for our first package that I bought from IKEA is this tiny, really, really cool multi USB charger. Because we are finding it extremely difficult to charge our phones. Because it's just different over here. This is a flat pin and in India we use a lot of round pins. So this is purchase number 1. Okay. Now the second most exciting thing that I would like to share with you guys is the toolkit. Okay, I've always grown up surrounded by tools all the time and this looks so fancy. Oh, there's a pin over here. Okay. Give me 2 minutes. Come back to you. I think the next thing I should buy is a knife just for cutting open packages or a very special pair of scissors. Are you you should sure? have like you should have scissors just to open packages and not be used for anything else. Do you know what I've been? Yeah. I would like to see you do that. That is lock number 1. and the package is now open so let's take a closer look Ooh, the metal looks really really nice this is one adjustable spanner that comes with it which is basically an any size spanner feels solid you get a hammer you get a screwdriver and then you get a whole bunch of adjustable heads focus Okay. Now getting down to the real things that we bought larger in size. Now one super cool thing about IKEA is they have everything on display and then you walk into a special storage unit where it is then placed in racks and shelves and all that stuff. You go pick it up and there just check it out and you can just walk over it. But then you have to come back home and pack everything by yourself and there is um I don't think there is a concept of a handyman over here basically you have to do everything by yourself somehow or another every time i open a package i try to be as careful as possible and i do not like to damage the box stay so when you do open a package this is how it 
comes basically you have the table at the bottom and then you have a small little instruction manual guiding you how to set this up yep I don't think we can use that but then this feels really really nice it feels solid so also with every product I think you get like a mini toolkit And for package number three, we have a chair. What's package number two? Package number two was the table. Package number one was the charger. Your toolkit? Toolkit, then this becomes package number four. You don't show that. Take me this. One, two, three, and yeah, this is package number four. Okay, so check these out. Focus. Yeah. Okay, so these are basically anti slip nuts. So, what that means is they have a threading on this which does not allow it to open up very easily once it has been tightened. How fancy is that? Got extremely distracted by the smell coming out of the oven because. That's what we're cooking for dinner. Okay, we're back at it. So, we are now going to use the spanner for the first time. The coolest part about it is this. This is basically a plastic part that is used to cover the nut over here. Not that anybody's going to look under your chair to actually see the nut. But this is so neatly done. Just so that that screw is not visible to your eye. That is what the chair is actually being used for. And that, my dear friends, is the finale package which is pretty heavy. Because it is a... Table. Love their packaging, it is packed so neatly. Paperwork, literature. Ah, this is what it's supposed to look like once it is done. Okay, so this is where I think product design plays like a massive role. Have you ever sat at a table and wondered why it keeps wobbling and once it starts wobbling because of that uneven floor, you get like really, really irritated. So what these guys did is they just attached a screw at the bottom. So once you, or rather if your table starts to wobble a little bit because of that uneven floor at home, all you have to do is adjust it. Simple. So another very important aspect of uh, construction 101 that I was taught as a very young boy was whenever you finish putting everything together never tighten all the screws the first go always leave a little wiggle room so that in case you do need to align something up there's always space for it to move around and adjust itself so build the skeleton completely and then tighten all the screws Thank you, thank you my dear father for that lovely lesson you taught me. So that is what we just finished constructing. We have a chair, we have a table. Sorted. And that is a gift from my wife for a very very special portrait to go inside there. Okay, so another cool thing is when you do go to an IKEA store and if you go ask them for a pencil at a counter, they give you these tiny pencils which look absolutely cool okay guys hope you liked today's vlog i am going to sign off now and i will see you in the next one bye bye take care